So I quit my band. I quit Conniver. Something that I used to kind of define my life, define myself, define a lot of things for me. So it's, uh, it's a really weird time for me. I got too many cameras. I'm in this place right now where I feel, I don't know, I guess uh, remorse and I guess I'm in a, in a bit of mourning. Um, the work that goes into putting on a show. It's like a Pokemon for adults and it's shitting. Um, I just, I needed more time. The band was one of my releases. You need a creative outlet, I believe that. You need a, a thing that you do that stretches you creatively and that's what Conniver was for me. Until recently. <laughs> So I had this block of time that Conniver was taking up. I have my video editing. I have a family that uh, that is one of my strongest priorities is spending time with my family, especially while my girls are young. My oldest is six. My youngest is six months. To be honest, I just think that it was no longer something that I was as passionate about as I once was. <laughs> It's a selfish thing to pursue your, your habits that make you happy. It's something that I've struggled with. It's something that the majority of the strife at home has to do with kind of this quest that I'm on to find my true purpose, to do what makes me happy. I believe that it's, it's a noble quest. And if you read those top 10 lists of things that people regret in life, Pursuing their interests and giving a fuck about what other people think is always the top of the list, man. Don't give as many fucks about what other people think and do what makes you happy. That's what I'm doing. But it's not easy. And everyone wants you to stop. <laughs> So they're going to rebuild and I'm going to be rebuilding too. So that's the status. I love you guys and uh, nothing but nothing but love sending your way. I'm running late, but I did want to say this. If you want to change your life, change your life. Oh, what? Oh, I should have a little relaxation.